In this video clip, we're going to explain to you the role played by the central bank in the determination of interest rates. But I'm going to start by looking again at the surplus units and the deficit units. Now, why will a surplus unit buy a financial instrument? A surplus unit will buy a financial instrument because it can earn a return on it or a yield. That will determine the return or the yield, will determine how much larger the money that they are going to get back for the financial instrument is than what they put in at the originally at the beginning, or how much more the funds that they're going to get back is, that the, is than the funds that they lent to the deficit units. Right, now the deficit units, they are going to have to pay interest on the funds that they have borrowed. So you can see that this interest and this return will actually be the same thing. It will be equal. It's exactly the same thing. This interest goes to the surplus units in return for borrowing these funds by the deficit unit. Right. Now, there are different theories about what determines this interest rate. And you will remember some of them from your first year studies. One such theory is the loanable funds theory. We can draw it on a diagram where we have the interest rate here and we have quantity of funds here. Now, surplus unit would like to supply more funds the higher the interest rate. The more they can earn a return on it, the more funds they will be willing to provide to deficit units. So the supply of loanable funds will have a positive slope. The demand for loanable funds will look like this because the deficit units will want to borrow less funds the higher the interest rates and more funds the lower the interest rate is because it's cheaper for them to borrow at a lower interest rate. And according to the loanable funds theory, this is how the interest rate is determined. Right, but now that is not really how a modern economy works. Because in a modern economy, as you will learn in study unit two, banks can create money. And that is very important. Banks create money. We're going to look in detail at how they create money later on. For now, you just have to remember that. That means that this supply curve does not really exist. Because banks can create as much money as they wish to. And there is a central bank will usually provide them with the means to create all the funds that is needed in the economy. So there is not really a supply curve. So how is the interest rate then determined? If we look at banks, banks will sometimes experience a financial deficit. They need to hold cash for several reasons. And if they don't have enough cash, they have to borrow that from the central bank, which is the South African Reserve Bank in South Africa. So if banks need cash, they have to borrow that from the Reserve Bank. Now, the Reserve Bank is not going to give it to them for free. They will lend them the funds but the banks have to pay an interest rate which is called the repo rate. And you may have heard about this and you're going to hear a lot more about it in this course. So the Reserve Bank will provide cash to the banks that are experiencing a deficit and the banks have to pay the repo rate in return 
for those funds. And that repo rate is going to determine the interest rate at which they are willing to lend funds to the deficit units. And therefore, this repo rate is the base interest rate in the economy that determines the level of all other interest rates in the economy.